I really do hope this works. Should I assume this episode is going to make me happy? I doubt it. So today we are watching Noragami season one, episode nine. In the last episode, well, we dealt with some stuff. You can basically say Yukine found himself and he did not like what he found. So when he started taking the baseball bat and just taking out windows left and right, that made the blight on Yato basically just take over to the point of where right now Yato is almost dead. And now since he already went to the spirit form and she touched him, she's now afflicted with the blight as well. And the last we left off, they went to Kofuku's place to try to see what they can do to to fix this problem. And Daikoko, Daiku, Dai, Daikoko, Daikuku, Daiko. He put a border. They can't go through. So there has to be something that... Maybe Kofuku knows that could save Yato. Probably not going to be easy. That's why they try to avoid the bl the blight. The blight in the first place. Anyways, without further ado, let's get straight on to it. Make sure with original content as always. All right, let's get going in three, two, one, and go. Stupid intro. Okay, I'm going straight into it. You know, I feel like the episodes, the episodes that are super serious and super important, they always have the intro first. because They don't want to break up any of the information. So, don't know if this is a good sign, bad sign, knowing Noragami, usually bad sign. So, uh, I guess we'll see. Border! Yeah, well... Hopefully it does look like she wants to help though. You have somebody the only one I'm letting inside. Really? Okay, well, I mean, yeah, she's not that bad. This water's pure. It's pumped in directly from the spring in the garden. Come over here and wash your body. What about Yati? That's nice. It's too late for Yati's blight to be cleansed now. Yuki. He needs to be punished. Name. To be fair, names are pretty important in this. What is Yukine's punishment? He needs ablution. Huh? Ablution? An ablution's a ceremony for expelling blight, but it requires three regalias to pull it off. Who would who would the other regalias be? Maybe um Tomone? Maybe. And then uh the Bishuman regalia. That's like for him. Take one step from where you're standing and I will kill you. Shoot, he means business. Yato is seriously on the verge of death. But what exactly are they going to do to punish Yukine? Probably oh, scar him up a bit. I never really thought about it, but who does help gods and regalias? Other gods and regalias, I guess? Yato's truly dying. Yes. Maybe higher ranked ones? If you don't do it correctly, you can get eaten by a phantom. Eaten? I mean, like, close to dying. Tomone would do it, if though. Permit it, I can help. Hey, hey, hold on! You aren't serious, are you? We only need one more, then. Mm -hmm. I greatly appreciate- Oh, that song. So great. Please try not to fret over this. Worrying would only affect Lord Tenjin's health. How could that fool allow this? What is he doing? Please I, hear me out. I think he has some. Would you kindly allow me to borrow one of... regalia? What kind of regalia inflicts this much upon its master in the first place? You must slay Yukine Yato. But would slaying him completely cure him from blight? Daikoku! You could only find one regalia? What are we gonna do, Daikoku? Oh, she's gonna find the other dude. The only other gods around here are. I'm sorry, who are you? Is that the the mask guy? Oh, I, I hope Nora isn't going to be one of them. Just one more. I need to find one more regalia. There's always Nora. I'm certain she'd come to Yato's aid. She just might kill Yukine. In that case. Oh, uh, yep. I don't know. Bishman would want him no dead, but afraid. maybe not this way. So. Come out, Cosima! I need your help! And in the southeast? All clear. Nothing to report. I'll continue to remain alert, though. That's right, Maiden. I'm really sorry, Cosima, but well... Hmm? A girl's been calling for you outside a shrine for a while now. We're talking life and death here, Cosima! Please! 
Oh. You couldn't find one more person? Gosh, dang Demi, it. what's wrong with you? You didn't even try the mask try dude like again. You, did you? Of course I looked. Uh, uh, hey! Didn't I tell you not to move? Do I look like I care? Oh, gosh, <sighs> this dude. And where are you going? Hold on. Isn't Yato your master's sworn enemy? He is. But I personally owe him a debt. Are we gonna know? Yukine. What'd you do? I don't know. What didn't he do? It's a whole list. If that's true, then why were you just trying to leave? Because I wanted to, okay? Is that so? Then you wouldn't mind taking off your shirt for a sec. Oh, what? Why should I? Just shut up and do what I say. Sh sure, sir. Goodness gracious. <laughs> what? <laughs> oh, that's not good. Damn it! Stung your master that much? Hurry and get it off of me! Oh, so because now it's mouths about you, you want it off. What is this? With defilement expelled oh, and avarice removed, we bring forth a sincere, principled, and just soul. Hopefully, this doesn't attract that many phantoms. The big light beam. Oh, it's okay. It's okay. An evolution involves purifying the flesh through burning. They all used to be human. Only regalias may judge the sins of other regalias. Okay, that makes sense. That makes sense. Not until the regalia has confessed and repented all of their sins. Every last one of them. Oh gosh, he's a little stubborn though. But if he refuses... Harder! He's becoming a phantom! Gosh dang it, why is he so stubborn? This is cruel! You have to stop him! He can't take it! There's, there's no other way. I didn't do anything to deserve this! Don't act like you don't understand me! It's because we're dead! I think but they're not. they understand you the they most. Everything. They don't even appreciate it! Come on, we're your friends! Yeah. They don't, they don't know what they have. They've got it all and I have nothing! Oh, we in the Squidward zone. I'm completely alone. And You're I not. Have nothing. Nothing at all. You have Yukine and Hiori. And even Kovku. And of course nobody bothers to pick them. Bro, so Nora, Nora wanted Nora this all along. And die, die. She's probably just standing in the shadow Hello, watching this. Oh, come on. There has to be something that, like, knocks him, knocks him sense him. Because as of right now, he is not repenting at all. Mm -mm, no, no, no. If his mark gets enveloped, we're screwed. Don't you give up now. His name. I need to say it. When I picked him, I had a feeling he was more than a pretty face. Isn't that right, Yukine? But what we'll say, what we'll say, what we'll say, what would... I can't speak at all. What will saying his name do? To call his Just like name. shock him back in? Yukine! Yuri, no! Hey, get away! He cares about you like a father! It's making him question? I hope? Heck yeah. Heck yeah, she's your friend. How much she be your friend? She gave you a bed. Yukine! There we go. I granted you the name of a person. You can still live as a person. You can live, Yukine! I'm so sorry. There we go. Okay, let's confess your sins. Let's, I'm sorry. Let's get through this as quick as so possible. I'm sorry. Anymore. I promise. See, this is a huge beam. Is there anybody else watching? I can see like Nora. Okay, it didn't seem that bad. Okay, there's no blight to be found. <gasps> I thought it was a dead the, the people in the back. But you are they're done. Dead. Thank you, Kofku, for these inspiring words you got. Thank you guys for helping out this dimwit. I appreciate it. Talk about yourself? Hiori. If she hadn't thought to bring us here, 
I'm sure I would have died where I was. Yeah. And of course, if she hadn't stopped Yukine when she did, if she hadn't been by my side. Okay, so we focusing on helping her out? That would be great. All right. Okay, so priority on helping Hiori out then? Hey, maybe there is. What what place is this? Has now started to bubble. Is it ready to Nora? eat? I really thought the phantoms were gonna munch him up for sure back there. Well, now I know that waking you up was the right choice after all, Robo. Robo. Your name's Robo. Who are you? Rabo? The name? You know, Yato was giving praise to Hiori about making all the great decisions, ultimately saving his life. But we gotta, we gotta give some love to Kofuku and Daikoko. Daiko, Daikuku, Daikoko. I don't know. Because it's, it's one of those things that, like, I ask, why, why would they do that? And yes, you could say, oh, it's because he already brought him to the, the shrine. It's hard for them to say no. But I think one of the reasons why Yato told Hiori to go to them if anything bad happens is because they're the most willing to help. Because they are the, how do I say this out being, being rude? They're not like the top tier god. I feel like some of the gods that Dai Koko went to, plus people like Bishuman and stuff like that, they're so high end or top tier gods that they, one, they don't know who Yato is, and two, they might have so much pride in who they are and who the regalias are that they wouldn't stoop low to help out a, a unknown god like Yato. Whereas you have Kofuku who's running these streets along with Yato and is the only god that we know of that is, it's, she's doing better than Yato, but she's still kind of on the same playing field as him. Like we don't really know of any other gods that are around his area. So they would be the most willing to help. And then honestly, I'm, I'm glad, to, I don't know what her name is right now, but Tomane. If she wasn't here, she wasn't part of the regalias, I don't think he would have given Daikoko any, any regalias. I mean, maybe he does know who Yato is, but I don't, I, I don't, I don't think he would have. And with her willing to step out and take this, it's almost like a sacrifice. Because she knows that if this goes wrong, she she could get eaten, right? So there's a potential for her to get sacrificed. She does it anyways. So even though she doesn't want to be the regalia of Yato, she still has some respect for him. And the same thing for Kazuma. We still don't know what exactly Yato did, but Yato did something big enough to where Kazuma was also willing to risk a death. And on top of that, risk Bishimon's wrath. Because I still don't know if Bishimon knows. Can regalias do whatever they want without their gods knowing? Maybe, maybe if it's not bad, because obviously if they do something bad, the gods would, the gods would know. But that also leads into some morality. Like, what is it? Is it morally wrong to help your enemies? Maybe in Bishuman's eyes, it's morally wrong. But in Kazuma's eyes, it's morally right. But then again, they've also made it clear that for gods, there is no moral good or bad and that's exactly why this ritual needed regalias because they had morality because they were they were human and seeing yukine go through this his feelings were okay i'll say it like this his feelings were justified but his actions weren't everything he said about being upset because he is dead and seeing all these kids run around not knowing exactly what they have i understand he would be upset about that now going around stealing busting up windows feeling uh Yori, those are the things that I want to condone. And obviously they don't condone either because that this is what brought him to this state in the first place. But he was appealing to these other regalias. And that made me think how these other three regalias dealt with the pain of knowing that they're dead. Because you have the people like Tomone and Kazuma who seems still kind of young, maybe a little bit older than Yukine, maybe 17, 18. I, I still think that they're in their teens. So they probably know exactly what Yukine was going through. Daikoko, on the other hand, he looks like he's in maybe his late 20s, give or take. So he's a little bit more mature. Therefore, maybe he dealt with death a little differently, depending on how much he had when he did die. I don't know. It, it, 
makes it very interesting like when you think about it what exactly happened to them like how did they die and then how did they end up accepting it when they did become a regalia because i feel like that would be a common thing you would have to do once a god makes a regalia not well not makes but you know what i mean and and now that it's all over i hope it's not gonna be an overnight thing but i i hope Yukine does understand that whenever he does feel alone to think of all the people that helped him this day as a reminder that he is no longer alone. There are people who know about him, who care about them, and he's still able to live life after death. Even though it's not at the same standards as everybody else, he's still able to do stuff. Now, I don't know if he's going to be this top tier regalia like Daikoko by the end of this season, but there's a potential. I just hope he doesn't die by the hands of Oramo or Nora. Can that also makes me think, can a regalia attack a god or another regalia on their own, like without being used by a god? I'm guessing they can't do anything. That's why Nora was trying to play mind games with Yukine this whole time instead of just strike trying to take him out. I don't know. Anyways, that was my reaction to Noragami Season 1, Episode 9. If you like my reaction, make sure to like and subscribe. If you want to know anything more, put it in the comment section down below. And I'll see you guys next time. Bye.